Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Nissan Frontier can take you to some pretty cool places like camping, trail bike riding, can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and break this hitch install down and get you guys outdoors. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. So um, you could see that Nissan did a great job of prepping the vehicle for a trailer hitch by putting weld nuts in the frame here. These three, these are gonna be our hitch attachment points. We're over here on the driver's side and it's gonna be identical on the passenger side. Um, so basically all we have to do is just put the hitch into place and, and bolt it down. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, today I'm gonna to be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to help me put the hitch up into place. If you don't have one of these, you'll need to get a neighbor to help you out or a friend. Hitch can, the hitch is pretty heavy, so. Again, we're just lining up the hitch so the hitch holds already in the frame. Okay, we're about lined up there, so now all we gotta do is put the hardware into the weld nuts. Okay, so we're here at the driver's side frame. Um, some of these vehicles will have rust or debris build up inside the weld nuts. If that's the case, you can take a simple wire brush or thread cleaner and just run it through the threads and clean it out, just like that. And now your uh, hardware is ready to go into the frame here. Okay, so the hitch manufacturer provides us with the bolts, spacers, and lock washers to go and go through the hitch and into the weld nut into the frame. Um, I'll go ahead and separate these real quick so you know which order they go in. So we're gonna put the lock washer onto the bolt first, then we're gonna take the spacer, put it over the lock washer, and then we're gonna go through the hitch and then into the weld nut, just spin it on. And then we'll do the same exact thing for the remaining attachment points. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the passenger side as well. Okay, so our last step is going to be to snug the bolts up into the frame and then torque them down. Uh, be before I do that, I did notice that this bolt here is having a hard time going up. It's getting tight as I'm screwing it in. So um, to be safe, I'm gonna take the bolt out, um, take the hitch down and inspect the weld nut and clean it if necessary. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and so you get a good idea of what we're looking at here. This is the weld nut inside the frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a wire brush and thread cleaner here and just run them through really good and make sure everything's to spec on the threads. Okay, that's our wire brush now. I'll take our thread cleaner kind of run it in and work it back and forth until I'm comfortable that our bolt will go in nice and easy. Yeah, it feels like there was a little burr there, so it's cleaning it as we're running this thread cleaner back and forth. Okay, perfect. Now we'll go ahead and get the hitch back up and tighten it down.
Okay, now we can go ahead and take our um, impact and a 19 millimeter socket with a five inch extension and just snug them up. Do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, so our last step is going to be to torque the bolts down. Um, I'll be using a torque wrench, 19 millimeter socket, and five inch extension. I've set our torque wrench to the pitch manufactured specs of 68 foot pounds. And you should hear a nice click when it's reached its torque, just like that. Okay, same thing on the driver's side. Okay, our bolts are torqued down. Let's go ahead and get our hitch jack out of the way and take a look at the hitch we just installed. Wow, this actually looks really good. You can see that we have a two inch receiver here. We have two large safety chain loops so that when you're towing a trailer, you can hook your safety chains to it here. You can see that the cross tube is almost completely hidden behind the bumper. We have a wiring bracket welded to the hitch here so that uh, you can have a seven way, a four flat, or a six round, and just mount it right to the bottom of this bracket. And a real important feature here is the weight rating. You can see that the hitch is rated at 5,000 pounds max trailer weight, 750 pounds max ton. Okay guys, and that'll be it for our, our hitch installation for the Nissan Frontier. Thanks for watching. Have fun and be safe. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.